Electric Café is the ninth studio album by the electronic group Kraftwerk, originally released in 1986. In October 2009 it was re-released under its original working title, Techno Pop. The initial 1986 Electric Café came in versions sung in English and German, as well as a limited edición española release, featuring versions of Techno Pop and Sex Object with only Spanish lyrics. It was the first Kraftwerk LP to be created using predominantly digital musical instruments, although the finished product was still recorded onto analog master tapes. <laughs> Topic. Background The album is somewhat infamous for taking the band almost half a decade to produce. Work is said to have begun as early as 1982, with the working titles of Technicolor and then Techno Pop, but the project was delayed due to band member Ralph Hutter suffering a cycling accident, and then due to concerns within the band that the production quality of the album was not sufficiently cutting edge, necessitating much rework. The album, mastered by Bob Ludwig, finally saw release in 1986. It is the last Kraftwerk album to feature Wolfgang Fleur, who subsequently left the group in 1987. Topic. Recording The album was recorded in Dusseldorf with the EMU Emulator 2 sampler used previously on Tour de France and the demo of Techno Pop album and various contemporary devices including Yamaha FM engines, a Lin drum, and digital effect processors. The final mixing was done at Right Track Studios in New York together with DJ François Kevorkian and Ron St. Germain. Also in America Kraftwerk and Kevorkian produced the single mix of The Telephone Call using the Synclavier system for the first time. Topic. Composition The first side of the album is instrumental without proper singing parts, relying instead on repeated spoken phrases. The side is divided into three tracks, but they may be taken to be one long piece of three variations with recurring elements. For instance, a few bars of melody from Musique Non Stop can be heard as a few bars of bass melody in Techno Pop. The songs Techno Pop and Sex Object feature partial Spanish language lyrics. The second side also contains three songs, following a somewhat more conventional pop format. The song The Telephone Call, German version, Der Telefon in Ruf is notable for being the first and only Kraftwerk song to feature Karl Bartos on lead vocals. The album closes with the title track, Electric Café, which features French-language lyrics. The track gained some exposure in the United States when it was used slightly sped up as the theme song for Sprockets, the German television spoof by Mike Myers on Saturday Night Live. Topic development In 1982, Kraftwerk began work on a follow-up album to its successful and influential Computer World. This new album initially had the working title Technicolor but that name had to be abandoned because it was a trademark. The proposed new title was Techno Pop. The initial track listing consisted of four tracks. The first track, Techno Pop, would take up one side of the LP and was an original one-track mix of Boing Boom T-Shack, Techno Pop, and Musique Non-Stop, as they appeared on the final album. On the other side were the tracks The Telephone Call, Sex Object, and Tour de France. Recordings were progressing and one song from these sessions, Tour de France, was released as a single in 1983, achieving moderate commercial success. However, shortly after this, Ralph Hutter suffered a cycling accident on the Rhine Dam and was apparently unable to work with the band for some time. 
Emmy Records announced a release date for the Techno Pop album. Promotional advertisements were released and official catalog numbers were assigned to the project. We were working on an album concept, Technopop, but the composition was developed and we just changed the titles, Hutter explained. It became Electric Café. But somebody within the record company went out and did a pre-order, we were working on the sleeve and some marketing idiot did this. To buy time while the band continued work on the new album, Autobahn was reissued in 1985 in a digitally remixed sick edition that subsequently marked the album's transition to compact disc the following year. By this time, Hutter and Schneider had regained the rights to the recording following the expiration of the group's original contract with Philips Records. When work did recommence on the sessions, the band was reportedly concerned that the album's production was not of a sufficiently groundbreaking quality to match its reputation as sonic innovators. The final mix of the album was completely redone from scratch at least once, with Hutter eventually traveling to New York with the master tapes to work on them with producer François Kevorkian. The recordings were not released until 1986, under the new name Electric Café. The band had decided not to include the song Tour de France but instead to leave it as a standalone single. It had already been reissued in 1984, when Kevorkian had auditioned his production skills with a largely instrumental remix of the song. Topic. Unreleased material Much speculation has taken place over the years as to whether a lost Kraftwerk album i.e. unreleased songs, recordings exists from the four-year period between 1982 and 1986. Kraftwerk are notoriously secretive about their activities, but a fairly reliable and consistent picture can be gleaned from interviews given by the various band members. Bootleg recordings of the songs, Techno Pop, and Sex Object, that claim to be demos from the early Technicolor, Techno Pop sessions have been circulated over the years, each with a noticeably different production sound from the final album. At various times, Hutter, Bartos, Fleur and Schneider have each stated in interviews that there are no unreleased songs from this period, and that all of the original Technicolor and Techno-Pop material was eventually reworked into what can be heard on the finished Electric Café album. Hutter commented, We don't spend our time on making 20 versions of a song only to leave 19 in the closet. We work target-related. What we are starting we release. Our storage is empty. Topic. Promotion Topic. Singles Two singles were released from the album, Musique Non-Stop, and The Telephone Call. Both were accompanied by promotional videos. Though both singles went to number one on the Billboard dance chart in 1987, neither of the singles performed well in the general pop charts. However, music non-stop, based on the later version from the mix, has been the closing piece of Kraftwerk's concerts since 1991. In the early 1990s, a completely different version of music non-stop slower and more melodic, was used extensively as a jingle on the MTV Europe channel. Earlier, MTV Europe had already included elements from the original song and the video in the title graphics for MTV's greatest hits. The video for Musique Non-Stop, created in 1984 and released in 1986, is notable in itself for showcasing a computer-animated representation of the band. The animation, which was complex for its time, was created by Rebecca Allen, using state-of-the-art facial animation software developed by the New York Institute of Technology. 
The slow rate of the album's progress, combined with rapid changes in software animation, meant that Allen had to archive the animation program developed at the Institute of Technology until Hutter and Schneider were ready in 1986 to travel to New York to edit the images to the final version of Music Non Stop. Topic. Reception Audiences generally appeared to find the music somewhat more sterile and less engaging than that of its conceptually more cohesive predecessor, Computer World. Compared to the band's four preceding albums, some critics have pointed to the lack of a strong and sufficiently intriguing theme to tie the Electric Café material together. Furthermore, the near half-decade hiatus in the band's record releases and performance activity lost them crucial momentum in their career. While recognizing Kraftwerk's influence on groups such as Depeche Mode and The Human League, journalist Ian Crana writing in Smash Hits described the album as, "...frankly rather dull," adding, "...one can only assume it's an exercise for their own amusement." Whatever the possible influence of the group, Electric Café did not meet with any great commercial success and reached only the number 58 position in the UK charts. Re-issues A newly remastered edition of Electric Café was released by Emmy Records, Mute Records and Astralworks Records on CD, digital download and heavyweight vinyl in October to November 2009. The release was changed back to the original title of Techno Pop. Due to licensing restrictions imposed by Warner Music Group, this version has only been made available in the US and Canada as a part of the catalog box set. However, when Emmy was acquired by Universal Music in 2013, all of Kraftwerk's oeuvre went to Warner with its subsequent purchase of Parlophone. This edition is the only album in the catalog that has been given a bonus track, the original, The Telephone Call was replaced by the shorter and subtly different 7-inch single mix, and as a replacement for the latter part of the original album track which contained telephone sounds and operator voices, the remix, House Phone, was inserted. However, the CD version included within the earlier promotional copies of the catalog, issued in 2004, features a remaster of the six-track album as originally released, with the full eight-minute version of the telephone call, and no bonuses. <laughs> Topic. Track listing Topic. Electric Café Notes Topic Techno Pop 2009 Notes Topic Personnel The original 1986 sleeve notes are, like those in Computer World, unspecific regarding the precisely defined roles of contributors. The 2009 remaster credits give the following information. Ralph Hutter, voice, vocoder, keyboards, electronics, mixing engineer. Florian Schneider, vocoder, speech synthesis, sound design. Carl Bartos, electronic percussion and voice on the telephone call. Henning Schmitz, sound engineer, Kling Klang Studio. Joachim Demon, sound engineer, Kling Klang Studio. Fred Marr, music data transfer, Axis Studio, NYC. Bill Miranda, music data transfer. Francois Kavorkian, mix, right track, NYC. Ron Saint Germain, mix, right track, NYC. Bob Ludwig, mastering. 
Hubert Kretschmer, graphic design band member Wolfgang Fleur is included in a subsequent general list of collaborators, but is not credited with a musical or production role in these recordings. Topic. Charts equals 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 weekly charts